Early evening, in suburb of Greg City, Ellison has been adapting smoothly since the opening of the restaurant a week ago. One customer ordered two more servings of Wuba Belly, which Ellison happily served to them. As the hours passed by and the food was already eaten by the customer, the customer bid their goodbye to Ellison, saying that they eat well, the meat in the restaurant is good. Ellison said his thanks and told them to come again. Since it is quiet, Ellison decided to slowly start finishing up. Right now, he looks at his inventory. Condiments and spices. Everyone knows how important these are for cooking. Ellison said, we are out of pepper. There isn't much left of the other spices too. However, in this world, they are so rare and expensive, so you cannot use them freely. Moreover, the quality and variety of products are no match against the products in the modern world. Ellison picks up the gold coin saying it is time to restock. Ellison put the gold in the middle of the magic circle that was drawn and start chanting his magic spell. The way to solve problems in one go is this world summoning magic, which summons objects from the modern world. In Ellison's mind, truth be told, I coincidentally made this spell when I was searching for a way to return to my original world. I said it before, magic depends on how one uses it. There is a limit to the object size and weight, but it is still a big help. It is not a perfect spell, since it failed to achieve its main purpose of returning to my original world. It would be nice if I could go over just like this. Red box pepper. I feel bad about just taking the products, so I at least sent a gold coin over the earth. Also, groceries, unless they are processed products like fresh meat, eggs or vegetables, all arrived in spoil state. Processed products also have expiration dates but it doesn't seem to have a problem. I don't know the exact reasons for this. And another feature is that, it is really exhausting. Ellison said, I am so tired. I cannot get used to this. Even Ellison, who was an archmage, can only perform the summoning once a day. He opened the fridge and said, this is the perfect time to rest while drinking the beer I summoned last time. But when he looked inside, there was no beer left, and he starts asking where did his beer go? Ellison got angry that his veins was about to burst. He shouted the name of Rurin. But on the other hand, Rurin was sleeping well, with a pack of beers in her bed. She was saying while dreaming about Ellison, who tickles her body. The next thing that happens is that Rurin got a bump in her head from being scolded by Ellison. Rurin, who was crying from a sudden wake-up attack of Ellison, said, What is this? I didn't do anything wrong? Ellison show her the beer. He said, this you took this beer out of the refrigerator and drink all of it without asking at least clean up after drinking Rorin said that is for not leaving any of the delicious food for me last time Rorin looks cute on this panel though this little girl named Rorin is actually a black dragon she said this body is a body of a dragon cleaning up is something lower beings do i am not cleaning it up hearing that made ellison so angry that he turns into red with his veins about to burst out the next thing that happens is another bump grows into rurin's head from scolding ellison told him to peel off the onion and organize it well rurin was crying saying that she is a dragon to something like that looking at rurin in ellison's mind just like she said she really is a dragon. Though she is polymorphed into her human form right now, I found her after she become an orphan, losing her mother and home during the Dragon War. I couldn't just leave her like that, so I decided to help and we have been staying together ever since. Although she has lived for hundreds of years, she is still a young dragon. Maybe that is why she is immature. Right now, Rurin was crying because her eyes hurt while peeling onion. To cheer up Rurin, Ellison said, I will make you a hamburger steak for dinner if you finish peeling so stop whining. Rurin happily replied. Hamburger steak. You promised, okay? Suddenly, Ellison hears that the bell of his door rings, which means a visitor has appeared. That guy was actually Noel, who looks down at this time. Noel sits down and ordered, bring me alcohol and some snacks. Ellison said, so it was you, Mr. Noel. Please wait for a while. Ellison look in the fridge. But the beer was already drink up by Rurin. He picks up a bottle and said, I should give him this. Luckily, I summoned this last time. Maybe I should change the bottle. Ellison served him the food and the alcoholic drink. He put in another bottle. Noel asks, what is this? 
It is not a beer, is it water? Ellison replied, It is not, sir. Why don't you try since you are curious? Ellison poured it into a glass and told Noel that the alcoholic drink is called soju. Noel tries to smell it and told Ellison that it smells weird. Noel starts drinking the soju and the pork belly that Ellison served for him. As Noel tries to digest the food, he complimented Ellison, saying that the food is not half bad at all. Ellison happily said, See, I told you. Noel replied, Noel said, It is bitter at first, but the sweet taste at the end harmonizes well with the meat. The side dish turned into something amazing with the soju alone. It has a different charm than a salad. Noel added with a sad face, I knew it before, but your cooking is really extraordinary. Can you bring me another bottle? Ellison replied with pleasure. Looking at the sad face of Noel, in Ellison's mind, he seems different today. Did something happen? The added bottle of soju was easily drunk by Noel as it turned into half. Until two bottles had already been drunk by Noel, but Noel slams the glass on the table and told Ellison that he needs one more bottle. Ellison tries to calm him down, he said, Mr. Noel, you already drink too much. This drink has a high alcohol percentage. But Noel shouted, I told you to bring me another bottle. I have to get drunk today. Ellison was confused and asked, Pardon, what do you mean? Ellison tries to ask him just what actually happened. The atmosphere of Noel turns into gloomy and he slowly said, My wife Rain. I think Rain is cheating on me. Ellison was shocked and asks him what does he mean. Noel was shaking while he tells Ellison his story. He said, in the beginning, she said she needed to go out for a bit, but it has happened several times now. Every month at a certain time, she dresses up nicely. This continued for several months, so I decided to secretly follow her one day. Because of anger, Noel slams the table. Noel said, and then, she was meeting a colleague from her mercenary days. He had been my closest friend. The reason why disappeared after I opened a butcher shop must be that. He was ashamed to face me while hanging out with Rain. And today, she went out again, though it is not the usual of the month. It seems like she doesn't care about me at all now. Ellison said, first of all please calm down sir. Getting drunk won't solve the problem, right? Noel got emotional and said, but I won't be able to face the truth sober. And you know what is even funnier? I still love Rain. Even though the situation is like this, I cannot live without Rain. What am I supposed to do now? Ellison was just silent. Maybe he doesn't want to insult to the wound, or it is because he didn't experience love. Ellison said, please leave this case to me, sir. Noel asks, you? How? Ellison replied, I haven't known Rain that long but I don't think she is that kind of person who would do something like that. Please wait here. On the other hand, Rurin was crying while peeling the onion. She said, this is too much. L is an idiot. L, with his robe, came in and told Rurin to stop peeling out because they need to go out. Rurin asks him why. Ellison replied, there is some work to do, or you can just keep peeling. Hearing that Rurin hurriedly said that she was going with Ellison, they go to the main city of Greg and the street is so active at night, and there is even a large restaurant where people enjoy eating. Rurin was amazed by it. She said, wow, these restaurants are really crowded. Unlike anywhere else, Ellison could only agree at what Rurin said. Ellison tries to look at the whole area because Mr. Noel said that it was somewhere around here. There he saw Miss Rain and a man sitting across her. Looking at the man in front of Miss Rain, in Ellison's mind, is he the mercenary colleague Mr. Noel was talking about? Ellison called Rurin, which caught Rurin's attention. Ellison said, do you see that the man and woman over there? Please listen to their conversations. Rurin asks for a reward. She asks, you will give me a hamburger steak if I do this instead of preparing the ingredients, right? Ellison told Rurin that he will give two of it. Rurin could only agree to what Ellison said. Rurin starts listening to their conversation using magic. Rain told Ment, do you think it is time to tell my husband, Mr. Ment? Rain added, I think my husband is getting more and more suspicious of our relationship. He is also sad because you haven't visited the butcher shop. Mr. Ment who looks worried replied, but you know his personality. If he figures out that I helped him, he will be the one to avoid me. 
Hearing that, Ellison was alarmed by it. He asks Rurin, is that what the guy called meant said? Rurin replied, yes, I am sure. Ellison was thinking that it doesn't seem like an affair no matter how he tries to look at it. Ellison jumps down from the roof. He told Rurin that he doesn't need to know more. Rurin asks, where are you going? What about me? Ellison replies, go and wait back home. Rain was still talking at Ment. She said, I understand why you think like that. It is not fair that you are being misunderstood. You did it for the sake of our marriage. Then Ellison enters in their conversation. Ellison said, excuse me, but may I join you? Just like you said Mr. Knoll is greatly misunderstanding you too. Rain was shocked to see Ellison. On the other hand, Noel was totally drunk at this time. He was still mumbling the name of Rain while he was lying on the table. Then the door rings, which means a visitor entered. Noel heard it and started to look who was entering. It was actually Ment and Rain, which he called. With a gloomy face, Ment said, Hey Noel, it has been a while. Noel slowly stands up. His body was shaking because of anger. He said, That is right. Seeing you two together looks quite nice. Rain replied, Honey, it is a misunderstanding. It is not like that. Noel clenches his fist. He said, What do you mean it is not like that? Had it been any other guy, why did it have to be you, Ment? I trusted you, you bastard. Then Noel jumps aiming to punch Ment with his full force. Ment could only close his eyes as Noel's fist is approaching him. Then a barrier appeared before it could hit Ment. Ment was shocked after seeing it. Rain said that what she saw is magic. Then Ellison entered, he said, Mr. Ment, please resolve the misunderstanding. How could you think of letting him hit you? Ellison actually brought ingredients for cooking. He said, the problem won't be resolved like that. Mr. Noel will calm down if you first tell him that it was Mr. Ment who lent him the money when he opened the butcher shop. Hearing that made Noel shocked. Noel was sweating because of what he heard. He asks, what? What did you say? Ellison told the three of them that they need to sit down first, at the table prepared and talk it out. He told them that he will prepare the food for them. Ellison starts preparing the food that he will cook. He said, Mr. Noel spent the whole day drinking, so I will make a dish with soup to calm his insides. And since Miss Rain gave me bellerant meat, as always, a shabu shabu seems perfect. Once I prepared several sauces with soy sauce as base for the meat and prepare the soup, filter the anchovies and MSG, and put it all into a pot. With this shabu shabu is now completed. Ellison starts wiping his hands. He said, the dish is done. So hopefully, they resolved the misunderstanding. Noel asks, Rain, what did you say earlier? Did Ment really lend us the funds for the store? Rain took a deep sigh and replied, it is just like you said, when you had no money left, after you got scammed, Mr. Ment lent us most of his life savings as our store's funds. Now that our store has a steady income, I was meeting him every month to repay him. That is all. Noel, who looks at Ment with guilt, said, but the money definitely came from a lord's castle who was returning the money after they caught the scammer. So, are you saying that was a lie? Ment said, would you have taken the money if I had told you the truth? I apologize for not being there to congratulate you when you first opened. I had no choice because it would have looked like I had deceived you if the truth ever came out. Still, I could have never guessed that you were having such a hard time. It seems like I did something unnecessary. Noel was sweating because of he misunderstood his best friend. He said, but, didn't you have plans after retiring from your mercenary life? Then how can you give me that? But before Noel could continue speaking, Ellison served the shabu shabu saying that the food is ready. Because of that, it made Noel angry. Ellison said, sorry, the vegetables shouldn't be boiled for too long, that is why. Then Ellison lit the stove and said, isn't it better to talk while eating? Ment picks up some meat and asks Ellison why was the meat very thin. Ellison replied, it is Baliran meat from Mr. Noel's butcher shop. I cut them thin, since it is a dish where you cook the meat in the soup and eat it directly. Ellison told Ment to please try the food. Ment starts putting the shabu shabu in the bowl. Then he used the fork to take the juicy meat in the shabu shabu. Ment tries his first bite of the food. 
After tasting the food, Ment had a positive expression and starts laughing. Ment gave a bowl of shabu shabu on Noel and told him that he should try that as well. Noel, take a sip at the soup of shabu shabu. After tasting it, his eyes widen. Then Ment starts talking at Noel. He asks, do you remember the Perun battle? That day, you got stabbed with a sword to protect me. I still remember that day vividly. We were out of supplies and food because the battle lasted longer than expected. And the only thing to eat was bland, watery soup. And then I caught a wild Beleren. Though I collapsed right next to you, having caught just one. The meat soup made out of the caught Beleren was bland, and the meat in the soup was tough and pungent. Ment smiled and told Noel that it was better than anything else. Noel, who was shaking, told Ment that it was the best. While putting the soup in the bowl, Ment said, You asked me earlier why I helped you despite my plans after retirement, right? That is because I didn't have plans. I didn't have a plan more important than helping you. Hearing that made Noel cry. He told Ment that he was sorry for misunderstanding him. With this Ment was the one of the best friends in Manwaverse. Ment take a sip on the soup made by Ellison. He said, The dish is quite heartwarming, isn't it? Hearing that the two best friends are now okay, made Ellison on the side smile. And the night comes and everything went okay. Ruren point her finger at Ellison. She said, A promise to a dragon is absolute. But it doesn't seem like that for you. Ellison replied, It is still evening. I will make you the hamburger steaks right away. Ruren angrily shouted, it is already night. How can you treat me like this when I was just requesting that you do your part on the appropriate contract? Then Ment called Ellison. Ellison covers the mouth or Rurin because of it. Ellison said, I hoped you enjoyed your meal. Ment replied, Yes, it was really amazing. I came here because I wanted to ask you something. Ellison asks him, What is it? Ment replied, The mercenary group received a mission to escort a quite high priority person recently and we wanted to host a dinner before departure to celebrate this. That is why, if it is fine with you, I would like the dinner of the night before departure to be held in your restaurant. Will that be possible? Ellison starts asking his mind if he could cater a group dinner for a mercenary group. 